Hello, this is Tim at Bolin Technology, and I have yet another special video for you. At the time of this recording, January 2023, this will be your first opportunity to see Dante AV Ultra and Dante AV H side by side in a bit of a comparison. We're going to do a more thorough job of this sometime in the future, but we wanted to give you an early look at Dante AVH, the newest flavor of Dante AV, and again, how it compares to Dante AV Ultra. We're going to look at bandwidth, latency, quality of the signal, at least a little bit, and audio video timing. So Dante AV Ultra, Dante AVH, let's go. As always, here's a diagram of our network today. It's a simple setup. As always, we have our Netgear M4250 switch. We have our D220 Dante AV Ultra native camera. We have a D20H decoder today so that the camera's output can be sent to this monitor. And we have our new D2210H, and that H stands for Dante AVH. We have a PC, and it's doing a couple of things today. Dante controllers running on this PC, but also Dante Video Viewer, and that's what we're going to be using to view the image from the D2210H, our Dante AVH camera. And finally, we have a keyboard so that I can move the cameras around and let you see and compare what that's like between Ultra and H. Let's start with Dante controller, and let's see what it sees. As you can tell, our equipment here includes all of the gear that's in our setup, including the Dante AVH camera. And just for fun, I will filter for that video format so that you can see it. Here are the H.264 devices. On the transmit side, we have our camera. And on the receive side, we have our camera here, but also Dante Video Viewer. The subscription already exists, I'm going to um, unsubscribe from that and the Ultra so that you can compare that as well. Going along device info, here are our Ultra devices and there is our Dante AVH camera. Now those letters mean something to us, but you'll want to rename that to whatever makes sense to you. Here's Dante Video Viewer and we had a Dante Mixer in our network today. I forgot to mention it, it's behind the camera, but it is here for a reason. Clock status, this is important. I want you to see that clocking is uh, synced through all the devices, the Ultra and the H, and on the network side. Let's just go ahead and start with the comparison. Let's talk about bandwidth. As you can see, our Ultra devices are up and running and that D220, it's a full HD 1080p 60 signal, roughly 670 megabytes, 673 on the transmit and receive. But look at that Dante AVH camera, wow. 8 megabits. Are you kidding? You have 8 megabits being transmitted, 7 or 8, 7 or 8 being received. So right away we see that Dante AVH is the clear winner for bandwidth. Now there's no surprise there. Dante AVH is a software solution. It's a lightweight codec, H.264, and it doesn't take a lot of resources to send a signal across the network. That's exactly why it exists. Dante AV Ultra in hardware, hardware encoders, hardware decoders, hardware cameras in our case, that is a bigger signal, it's a deeper signal, but as you can clearly see, takes more bandwidth across the network than Dante AVH. Back to our routing this morning. So uh, in round one in bandwidth, uh, Dante AVH is a clear winner here. All right, let's take a look at the signals themselves. Uh, we'll start with Dante AV Ultra. Now, I had to do this in a bit of a rush. Uh, we're preparing for a major show at ISE, but I wanted to give you just a look at the differences between the latency in Dante AV Ultra, Dante AV H. And one of the ways I'm going to do that is to point out the uh, color chart and focus chart that is just up under our main camera here. I'm going to call up the D220 and I'm going to uh, invite you to take a look at the output here on this monitor. As I move, you can see my hand in the overhead shot. As I move the joystick, watch the delay or not in the video signal that comes out of the camera. As I'm panning, that response is immediate. The signal is received by the camera, transmitted across the network, decoded out to the monitor, 
very, very little delay. It's almost imperceptible. Zooming in, you can see we've got good focus. We have uh, good color reproduction. Zooming back out. And again, for today's purposes, I just want you to see that there is no delay between my movement on this uh, controller joystick and the image as it comes out of the camera. So latency, Dante AV Ultra looking really, really good. Now let's uh, swap over to the Dante AV H camera and I'm gonna swap over to Dante Video Viewer so that you can see as I move my hand, you're gonna notice a bit of a lag as the camera moves and then the video signal catches up. So we're panning, we're tilting up, and I didn't adjust the tilt speed, by the way. It's the same. Little bit of a difference. We'll zoom in some, and I apologize this isn't more elegant, but I think it will, it will do the job today. Now, the quality of the image, we'll talk about this in a minute. But as you can see, as I'm moving my hand, the camera moves ahead of the image. It isn't terrible at all. It's just different from Dante AV Ultra. Obviously, that software codec is going to take longer to do its job versus the hardware JPEG 2000 codec. So, in round two, when it comes to latency, Dante AV Ultra is the clear winner, and it's always going to be. Hardware is going to do a better job than software for latency. So, bandwidth, Dante AV H, uh, latency, gonna be Dante AV Ultra. Okay, for at least an initial image comparison test, I'm going to use that same pattern and color chart that we saw earlier, and I'm simply going to point the Ultra camera and the H camera at it and put them side by side, let you take a look, okay? So we'll have the D220 Dante AV Ultra camera, and we'll have the new D220H Dante AV H camera side by side. I will move each image around just a little bit. I can't do them both at the same time, unfortunately, but take a look, see what you think. We'll start with the ultra camera. So I'll uh, zoom in a little bit. This again is the ultra image coming back out. Now we'll just pan slowly. As you can see the, uh, the patterns and everything hold up very, very well. Hand back over some more. Let's center it back up and I'll tilt up some. Tilt down. Okay, and let's do the same thing with the H camera. So it's a little bit of a different angle, but zoom back out. Zoom back in. Let me pan some like we did before. Pan back. You see that image also holds up really, really well. You know, Bolin made this camera, so we engineered Bolin DNA into it, just like we do with all of our cameras. And then we'll just let them sit there for a minute. Let me try to get the zoom back out roughly equivalent. I'm We'll hopefully do a, a bit more of an extensive image comparison test, but at least this gives you a good first look at Ultra versus H. Now, to my eye, the Ultra still has an edge, but I'm happy to say that the Dante AVH image also looks very good. You decide. So, in my judgment, the image quality is very good. The image quality is excellent on Dante AV Ultra. The image quality is very good on Dante AVH, and that's what we would hope. Um, so that both these are good options depending on what the endpoint is and depending on what your need is. So let's pause there on that endpoint for a minute. Dante AV Ultra hardware, that's Dante AV Ultra hardware codec JPEG 2000, it has cameras encoders, decoders. That means you have a lot of options on ingest, the source of your rich media, whether it's a camera or Blu-ray player or what have you. And you have a whole lot of options on the decode side. Put that decoder in front of a giant screen or several of those screens with multiple decoders or in front of a monitor like this, flat screen, somewhere else on the campus or inside your building. You have many, many, many options for Dante AV Ultra. 
Currently, January 2023, your only option for Dante AVH is software. Now, Dante Video Viewer does a great job. I need to mention it could just as well be OBS or Zoom or Teams, anything capable of receiving that H.264 signal. Um, mind you now, you can't use Dante Video Viewer and something like OBS at the same time. Uh, you'll want to do one or the other. But right now, the only options for viewing a Dante AVH image are or is software. So if that was one of the rounds in our comparison, I would clearly give the edge to Dante AV Ultra. There are just many, many, many more options at this point. So we were gonna talk about bandwidth, latency, image quality. I kind of tossed in your endpoint options as a bonus. And finally, audio video timing. Now there's not a whole lot to say here because at the time of this recording, January, 2023, the only perfect audio video sync is gonna be with Dante AV Ultra. That is the signal that uses PTP to time the audio and the video together. Currently, that's not an option with H.264. So when it comes to perfect synchronization between audio and video, the clear winner here is gonna be Dante AV Ultra. So as a summary now, we have bandwidth as a great option for Dante AVH. Latency, well, that's gonna go to Dante AV Ultra. Image quality, both of these images look good. I'm gonna give the edge to Dante AV Ultra, but that Dante AVH signal looked terrific. Um, endpoint options, Dante AV Ultra again, just has many, many more of them versus Dante AVH being decoded right now in software. And when it comes to perfect audio video synchronization, again, that's gonna to go to Dante AV Ultra. So before I leave today, let's take a look at what subscriptions are like. Let me let you see those. So first I'm gonna filter for our camera and then our um, decoder here it just makes it a little easier for me to get to. So here's the Dante AV Ultra signal being subscribed to our decoder. So I'll take that off, you'll see the image go away. I'll make the subscription again. There it is. And our image will be up in just a second. There it is. All right, let's do the same thing with our H.264 options. So I'll take this filter off because the only option is the laptop down here. So here is the subscription from the Dante AVH camera into Dante Video Viewer. So I'm gonna unsubscribe it and let you see, this is what you see when you're using uh, Dante Signal into software and it can't find one, that's your screen. But let's create the subscription again. And my point in doing this is to let you see that the process is exactly the same. And as you can also see, once that subscription is made, there is the image. So clearly here, Dante AV Ultra, Dante AVH work exactly the same within Dante Controller. One more thing I wanna show you because I think it's important. I'm gonna filter for our mixer up uh, in, on our network and also for our camera. I want you to see that there are two audio channels subscribed into that camera. I'll take them off and redo it. This is important because it illustrates the compatibility of Dante AVH with your Dante network as well. Just like Dante AV Ultra. Here is audio coming from a Dante source, channel one, channel two, that's the boom mic ahead uh, above me and a lav mic. And as you can see, those subscriptions are made just as easily as they would be with Dante AV Ultra. I'll go to device view and I'll show you one other unique thing. Because the audio is being subscribed into that camera from a Dante source, then it will draw that latency graph. Uh, as you know, Dante AV video doesn't yet draw any kind of a latency graph for you to see in that way. Only the audio channels, but because those audio channels were coming from a Dante mixer, there they are. And the rest of the device view tab, we might as well just stay here a minute. We have receive, which are those audio channels, transmit, We've got a video signal now being subscribed, and if there was audio directly into the camera, we could transmit it that way. Status, latency, device config, all the things you would expect to see in uh, a Dante AV device are right here. So, in summary then, again, we have bandwidth, 
Well, Dante AVH, clear winner here. If you look at the bandwidth compared to Ultra, there's almost no comparison. Uh, eight, seven, so oh, five megabits we've gotten down to, pretty amazing. So Dante AVH has an edge in bandwidth. Uh, when it comes to latency, Dante AV Ultra, the clear winner here. It's a JPEG 2000 codec, very efficient, hardware-based. It's always going to be the ultimate in um, video quality and latency. I got ahead of myself a little bit. So we have bandwidth, latency, video quality. Well, Dante AV Ultra, I'm gonna give the edge to simply because it is a better signal. However, let's remember, Dante AVH looked really good. So I'm happy that we have them both and I would be happy for you to use either one. Dante AV Ultra, Dante AVH are gonna give you a good signal. When it comes to perfect synchronization between video and audio right now, the clear winner is Dante AV Ultra because it's sort of the only player in the game right now. It's early in the days of Dante AVH, but at the time of this recording, Dante AV Ultra is the, has the clear edge there. Well, this was a whole lot of fun for me to make. Um, continue to watch this space for more information about Dante AV Ultra and Dante AVH. We are uh, going to be uploading more content a little more consistently in 2023, so looking forward to that. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you'll know when that content is up. I'm Tim at Bolin Technology, and I will see you in the next video.